A very warm welcome from him, Abba. A very small, charming, but picturesque town in Malta. Neighboring small towns such as Kirkop, Zuri, Rendi, and also the Malta International Airport. Im Abba nowadays is home to around 3,500 residents. And I'm standing here in a very narrow valley just in front of the parish church, a very important landmark in the life of this village. The parish became autonomous in 1598, and the parish church was built by 1699. However, it was heavily damaged during World War II, and restoration works were completed by 1947. I'm now waiting the mayor, Dr. Charlie Muscat. Thank you, Keith, for visiting us. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Dr. Muscat. Maybe you can take us through the projects that Council initiated in 2018. Doubtlessly, a major project that we initiated last year is the one concerning the village core regeneration. This project is being coordinated by the Ministry for Transport, Infrastructure and Capital Projects. Originally, it was aimed at embellishing the village's main square. However, the council thought it would be best to address the flooding problem that affects the area. So we sat down with ministry officials and together with our architect, and we came up with a holistic project aimed at uh, conserving rainwater and also at embellishing the village's main square. We're very proud of this project. It's, it initiated last year, and the council managed to secure an investment of over 2 million euros. local council last year wanted to implement an outdoor gym. They had the idea, but they didn't have the funds. So as a council, we assisted them to also turn their dream into a reality. And nowadays, this project is being enjoyed by the community at large. Infrastructural projects are very important. However, as a council, we also value green infrastructure. Last year, we secured funding from the European Union of over 57,000 euros in order to plant indigenous trees in the main road of the village and also to have a proper irrigation system in order to be able to have a sustainable project. As a council, we were also interested in fostering the cultural heritage of this quaint village. So we commissioned an artistic project. However, Keith, I will not be delving deeper into this as I'm sure that you will be discussing the project with the artist himself. Thank you so much, Dr. Muscat, for the detailed overview you gave us on the projects initiated by the Council in 2018. So I'm intrigued to know more about how sculptures, mainly local artists, use soft stone as the canvas for their artistic creations. Abba is home to the majority of limestone quarries in the Maltese Islands. I'm now in a private quarry. However, unlike other quarries, here in 2018, the local council of Abba witnessed a very particular and professionally made project, the European Wall, made by local artist Antoine Varuja and the German artist. This project sprung the idea of another project, the Abba Wall. I'm now meeting local artist Mr. Faruja to tell us more about this project. Uh, this is the Abba Wall. was inspired by this wall that we created one year ago, me and the German artist Volker Hausberg. Uh, when the local council came here uh, to see this project, was liked it so much and told us too much to, to make such a thing in Abba. We create, uh, we leave a, a footprint of today, uh, a, a contemporary temple made by eight, by eight blocks, three tons each. And uh, the idea was that we achieve the equinox as well, as, as happened as happen in Hajar Inn. Hope, hope, it, hope it works. <laughs> Thank you so much, Antoine. I wish you all the best with this project, which I personally believe it's a celebration of contemporary art and culture. Thank you so much, Mr. Faluja. Pleasure meeting you. 
From this private quarry in the periphery of M Abba, I'm heading back to the main square of this small, quiet village in the Maltese Islands. I'm heading to one of the main streets leading to the main square of this village, where in 2018, the Ministry for Transport, Capital Projects and Infrastructure started a regeneration project in this zone. The project was initially aimed at embellishing the village main square through paving and lighting. However, the local council flagged out the storm problem, the flooding problem. To take us through this project, we spoke to Mr. Christopher Kutayer, Permanent Secretary at the Ministry for Transport, Infrastructure and Capital Projects. The first phase is already completed. We have upgraded the stormwater culvert system in this locality, leading from the Paris Square to the peripheral part of the locality. Now we are going to start the second phase of this project, which entails the building of a soak away reservoir, which could enable us to conserve the rainwater into the water table, making it a really sustainable project. And the third phase, will start off uh, during the fourth quarter of this year, which would entail uh, the enriching of the authentic characteristics of the Paris Square, and it would enable us to have better and improved Paris Square, which can be enjoyed by the community at large. From the main square, we're now heading to a public garden where last year the local council inaugurated an outdoor gym. Nikolai Faruja, the village's youth ambassador and forms part of the youth local council, will take us through this project and its collaboration with the local council for the implementation of this project. The youth local council of um, Abba dream was to open uh, an outdoor gym in a public garden. As, uh, as teenagers, we had no uh, experience in politics and uh, local governance. Dr. Muscat, the mayor of the Abba Local Council, was there in all our meetings to give us support and to give us important advice. I want to thank her for all uh, the support that she gave us in all our meetings. The Abba Local Council was also very active in trying to secure funding from the European Union. The Council also secured 15,000 euros of EU funding in order to provide free Wi-Fi in the main square and the surrounding streets. Currently, the Council has other ongoing projects, namely that of setting up a bicycle park throughout this legislature. The Council also refurbished the children's play area, Jinin Onji Onjella investing over 70,000 euros. Various cultural, educational and recreational activities were organized for the residents. Some of these were organized free of charge in order to ensure that everyone would be able to join. Well, that was a very, very busy year for the Mabba Local Council and a very successful one indeed. Mabba is a truly picturesque village and off the beaten track, as the mayor described it. It is also very, very well known for the two village feast. The Assumption of Our Lady celebrated on August 15th and the Lady of Our Lilies celebrated third Sunday of June. These feasts are a showcase of local talent from artistic creations, street decorations to professional concerts by local musicians. The feasts also feature exceptional fireworks displays which are some of the very best that one can find on the island. The management of this picturesque village looks forward to hosting you for a truly authentic local experience.